feeble humans. Let us give you our power. <laughs> I'm glad they just left us hey, here. Wake up. Ay, ay, ay. Crawl out of one hole and into another. You want to tell me what's going on here? Americano, see? Now, what brings a bloke like you to this part of the world? Oh, hey, easy. Whoever you are. <sighs> Name's Leon. Came here looking for this girl. Seen her? How did you guard that out? What, are you supposed to be a cop or something? Nah, you don't look the type. Maybe. <laughs> Not anymore. Okay, let me guess. She's the president's daughter? <laughs> That's too good for a guess. Wanna start explaining? Psychic powers. Nah, I'm just kidding with you, Amigo. <laughs> I overheard one of the villagers talking something about the president's daughter in the church. And who might you be? Me llamo Luis Serra. I used to be a cop in Madrid. But now I'm just a good-for-nothing guy who happens to be quite a ladies' man. Why'd you quit? Phew, <laughs> policia. You put your life on the line, nobody really appreciates you enough for it. Being a hero isn't what it's cracked up to be anymore. Used to be a cop myself. Only for a day, though. I thought I was bad. <laughs> Somehow I managed to get myself involved with the incident in Raccoon City on my first day in the force. That is the incident with the viral outbreak, right? I think I might have seen a sample of the virus in a lab at the department. Lab at the department? He was just going to strike in the middle anyways. <laughs> Idiot. He just runs away. <laughs> hey, how about we still together? Nah, man. <laughs> this spooky. It's Leon. Sorry I couldn't get in touch sooner, but I was uh, a bit tied up. You're okay, right? I'm fine. There was a male civilian. Left track. According to him, Ashley's in a church somewhere. What happened to him? He managed to escape. Do you have a fix on the location of that church? He's run away. But apparently there's a secret passage in the village that leads there. I'm heading back to the village. I must say, it's never boring to play Resident Evil 4. Which, there's a topic I wish to talk about. Which I'm going to do anyways, because this is my show. <laughs> well, but first, a cutscene. Over here, stranger. Ah, what the fuck? Well, you can keep your free game, dude. Anyways, I was going to say... I'm going to say, Jesus, I wish I could learn what I'm going to say. So, normally games like, there's like, reasons to make your remakes. Like, oh, Dark Souls Remaster, it looks the same shit. So what's there so remaster about it? Well, I don't know the details. But, anyways, like, there's a lot of remaster on whatever, <coughs> re-releases. And some games do require like a remaster. I mean, let's think of Saints Row 2. That game is ugly as fuck. It's really ugly. It's ugly looking. How they managed to make such ugly characters, ugly looking world. Saints Row 1 is just the same. So that game will require a remaster. But this one, it looks really good. Got something that might interest you. <laughs> like even for a GameCube game, it looks pretty good. Well, not that extra. 
Don't you? Don't know if you have noticed, stranger, but did you see the blue medallions hanging around in the village? Come back after you have shot ten or more of them. I got a specialized gun I want you to try out. Alright, so I mean of course like this game would require like a bit more of texture work, but it looks good. I mean back back in the day it looks good, right now it looks good, so it only requires like a re-release. What are you buying? Uh, it's tempting, but when I just put the treasure map. A lot of people don't buy the TMP. I do, because normally you find a lot of ammo. But the Jesus. Right now we're going to just to Oh. We're just going to get the rifle. <coughs> we cannot buy the case anymore. Can we sell the X though? By the way, I really appreciate that this game allows you to scroll with the scroll wheel. I mean, Capcom normally has a track record of n not optimizing the games for PC release, as in with the controls. Like, normally they are all over the place, and, and you think, if you manage to put all these, con these buttons in a GameCube controller, or an Xbox controller, how, y how you can't do that with a mouse and keyboard? I mean, there's a button for everything. But whatever. So yeah, remaster and re-releases. I mean, this game could use a bit of use on the uh, texture work, but it looks good. I mean, the only reason for the re-release was just to update the uh, the optimization a little for more recent hardware. And besides, I think like all PC games. Oh, what that didn't kill? Like all PC games that where to use on console and they just port them over, they are they, ha they are really bad ports. I mean, this game, I do believe it was ported by Ubisoft, which I find that amazing. <laughs> spooky, this game is very spooky. So, I mean, Ubisoft did a really horrendous work. In fact, the first release had no lighting at all. They fixed it in a patch, but it still looks really, really ugly. Like the shadows are all moody, and you wonder why they couldn't get a 101 version like the GameCube one on PC. But well, at least we got this one. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! I don't remember this many people. But let's see what we can do. <laughs> let's see what you can do. Okay. They're more dangerous to each other than. <laughs> I'm kind of surprised that I'm, I'm actually getting those shots properly rather than just shooting around, killing nothing. By the way, I didn't know about this, but I was watching like two best friends play Resident Evil. This one. Which normally in incentivize people to reinstall Resident Evil 4. But what I'm going to say is, I didn't know that there are no infinite spawns in this game. Oh wow. Well. Yeah, I might want to not go up if there's someone just ch ch chugging uh, that. I was going to do the freaking menu reload, but I'm like, oh yeah, this is not Resident Evil 5. Oh, whatever. Really? <laughs> oh, whatever. <clears throat> I mean, this is a pretty good game. I mean, if you haven't played Resident Evil 4, just go ahead and get it. It's, it's rather cheap. It's a good port. Or whatever you wanna call it. And it's always fun, I mean it's it's really simple, really basic, it's not complicated. But everything works like synergically. I mean that was a waste, but <laughs> but what can you do? So we were shooting a bunch of people, which that doesn't sound nice. 
Anyway, so my plan with this game is actually just speedrunning as, as fast as possible. However, I don't have much to comment in right now, so I guess we're going to freestyle this thing until we get something, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I swear, mouse and keyboard is a little OP for a Resident Evil game. So in this area we need to get like two keys and then combine them. One should be on top of here. Oh, that doesn't look nice. Oh, what up, man? Look at this sweet combo. <laughs> I open, I kick, then I get. <laughs> As always, we need to be wary. Simple enough. Well, the music is stopped bumping, so we can continue our endeavors. So the school is still on strike, which kind of worries me because I need to do homework. Not like now, but whenever we come back, which could be at any moment. So recording, which is for twenty. A. Uh, everything seems to be still on strike, but I don't expect this is going to last forever. And I swear I pray to God to have time to do my homework, and here I am not doing it, but I still have the weekend. So, worst case scenario, I do that. Anyways, I think we got all what we're supposed to get. Alright, it won't open. Isn't this too much of a complicated setup to actually have? I mean, of course, if I if they know I'm coming, then then I guess it's safer for them. But just imagine every day use having to use all these emblems and an hexagon just to get through one place to another. It will be quite a hassle if you ask me. But whatever. So, I guess I already talked about a bit of history with Resident Evil 4, me and the game. Well, there's that. We can get it in a minute. Oh boy. That was easy. Oh, what the fuck? I just keep the gaping hole, come on. Oh no. You may be wondering why sometimes I just blow the head straight up and sometimes I don't. Apparently they say really not exactly uh how to say it. Okay. Well there's a mechanic about critical hits. But I guess you, you don't exactly know about it. I mean, you just know it exists. But as far as I know, the game doesn't exactly tell you. Well, only if you upgrade your guns, but... Eh. Speaking of upgrade, I guess I didn't upgrade my weapons with the uh, merchant. Whatever. We're too, <laughs> don't worry, we're too good for this game. We'll, we'll manage. And now we see the basics of the next Resident Evil games and everything else. The cover system. <laughs> Keeping it simple. I mean, let's be careful with the bird traps. Just knifing them. Uh, is something pushing me or what is go what what yeah 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 just do that my dude <laughs> see if it is the way it always or what's happening is it because of the cover system or something I mean <laughs> what I mean whatever I guess but <laughs> 
<laughs> well, this, this is the game that keeps on giving. <laughs> Okay, stop it. We're just wasting too much time doing nothing. Yeah, just put your hand in there, man. Oh, he's going to keep doing it. Well, I don't know what's happening. Oh, um. I mean, I knew there were more people, but I didn't expect him this close. Look how much that takes. Don't fall into the bird traps. Don't oh, fall, I mean. Well, it seems that we have stopped sliding around. That was weird. Let's not get cocky and actually... Well, let's do this. Just so we can increase our health ever so slightly. Yeah, that's good enough. <laughs> Knife him up. Alright. I must say, I love doing Let's Plays. I'm, I'm not the best. I don't get a lot of views. But isn't that what YouTube is about? Just making home videos and uploading it? Hopefully, someone will watch and like them. I guess that's pretty much the spirit of it. There's only this dude that the music just pumps up. <laughs> he must be pretty important. By the way, I don't know exactly what is this place, but I guess it's just a sewer with with uh, maybe a fishing pond. We're not as refined as sling, so we actually should our way. But look at this. It's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> it's huge. And I mean, I guess I'm going to pick a couple just for the sake of picking them. Just for the novelty of it. <sighs> well, whatever. I mean, it's too much space. There's but there are better better items. I don't know how to say better. I guess that's just how you say better items for health. Oh, you see a couple of crows. Is it like a bunch of crows called a murder? Mordor of Cross, that's a, so weird. Look at this. Bam! By the way, I love it. I love having Leon just walk without having guns or anything, just casual walking. Well, let's keep it like that for a, for a hot minute. <laughs> I had just at the end. <laughs> I don't doubt that Leon was the crush of many. And I think there's more around here. Oh yeah, look. The same thing as the beginning. And the same trap as the beginning. It's things here too. Well, surprise. Anyways. I think that's all of everything around here. So let's move. It's a large crystal ball. It looks like it rotates. Which way? It's actually very simple. That's it. <laughs> I guess it's, it was harder on the GameCube just for the res resolution itself. What's this? You got the insignia key. I can use this to open the door. By the way, that's where we had to go. But first, let's see if we can get some more stuff. Alright. Is that a note? Ship's note. As instructed by Lord Sadler, I have the agent in confinement alive. Why keep him alive? I do not fully understand what the Lord's intentions are. Well, so that, that explains the last part. I will, however, think he will, he will keep them separate, not confine them together as has been ordered. I don't expect Louis will trust a stranger, but if by chance they did cooperate, the situation could get a bit more complicated. If for some reason an unknown third party is involved, I don't think they'll let a chance like this slip by. But maybe it's all Lord Sadler's ploy, leaving us vulnerable so that this third party will surface, if they even exist, that is. 
it's an unlikely possibility, but if Prowler is already among us, then our plans could be ruined. I guess the Lord thinks it's worth the risk if we're able to stop whatever conspiracy is at work. At any rate, it's the Lord's call. We will trust his judgment as always. Nothing better than a creepy cult. Nuestro jefe se curará de la rata. De la plaga es mucho mejor que la nuestra. I will have to translate whatever was said. Consequences will never be the same. What? what? Same blood. I must say the voice actor for Leon on point. I cannot believe they replaced this guy with Matthew Mercer. <laughs> he's not a bad actor, but I don't know. I mean, this guy is smooth. He's suave. Leon, I've been able to get some new info that might help you. Fill me in. Apparently, there's a religious cult group involved. They're called the Los Illuminados. Los Illuminados? <laughs> That's a mouthful. Anyway, I had an unexpected run-in with the big cheese of this village. But you're okay, right? Yeah. But he could have killed me, but he let me live. And he mentioned something about me carrying the same blood as them. Whatever that means. Carry the same blood? Huh. Interesting. Anyway. There are more important things than solving riddles right now. You're right. Hurry and find that church, Leon. They say something that happens in Saints Row. In Saints Row, there's a group called Los Carnales, but they always say the Los Carnales, but there's already the the, you know, in Los. I forgot. It's a preposition. Uh, let me check. It's a pronoun. Yeah, it's a pronoun. They have, I think it's a pronoun in, in English, then they want in Spanish. The, then los. That will happen in Central. The Los Carnales. It's not the Los Carnales. It's Los Carnales. I got a lead on where the Los Carnales cut all their shit. The Carnales. What? Rio Grande River. Jesus. What the fuck? It's not the Los Carnales. It's just the Carnales. Los means... Fuck it. Like I was saying... I don't say why you why they didn't just say the carnalis and keep it simple. And just like here, the los iluminados. That's already the pronoun of the in los. So they could say the iluminados or just los iluminados. But I guess for language sake they just should just simply say the iluminados. But I'm just rambling. Let's just follow this guy up. Hey asshole! Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> yes, die worm. Is the third party? Oop! <laughs> he just follows soon just by jumping off. This game is a bit ridiculous at times. Woman in red, somehow so familiar. But forget about that, we have other issues at hand. I only have one. Look. <laughs> what an invitation. You know, since I don't really have anything to shoot at this guy with, I'm just going to keep it normal, I guess. I'll figure as we go. Oh, she's occupied. You saw the last time we threw like 10 bullets on, into the guy's head and he didn't die. That's why we use the knife. Looks like the people in this house sit like normal humans. We're going to need a couple of these. Because boy, that guy has a lot of health. 
It looks like the people here carry out their lives like ordinary people. They even read books. Do they? Alright. I mean, the books could have been there before and they just had them. Let's just save again, just for the sake of it. It's an oven. <laughs> they even... <laughs> <laughs> they even bake eggs like us. Um, are you sure about that? Hello. Mm. Uh, let's just punch on this guy first before he punches us first. There's like ammo here, but. Look how much that guy took, and he's not even dead. Alright, shotgun time. I don't want to risk it, and I just want to kill that guy first. Then this guy. Well, since there's only this guy right now, I guess we can just shot on him. A couple of rounds. Look at this tank. There, Jesus. Some a ruby. I think it's like 10k words. <laughs> that was my nest. What? That that was simple. There's another one over there. Let's see if we can shoot it. There we go. Oh no! Oh no! Wait. Oh no! <laughs> Just eventually getting there. There we go. Let's ever so precautiously reload. Is there a snake? Nope. Not on this one at least. I think there's more people over there, so... Let's see if we can reload this thing. By the way, look at this. Ah, oh, that's so nice. How can that be so satisfying? There's like a lot of people there. Well, let's see. Let's start from... They didn't give a shit. Oh! <laughs> oh, 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 shit! <laughs> that animation of the reloading just... Mm, so nice. I mean, it's at 30 FPS, but... It's still nice. Oh, look, DMP ammo. We are going to find a lot of ammo for the machine gun, even if we don't have it. They already saw me. I mean, everyone else is like just on their business. I guess they just came back from the church. Why are there so much people in here anyways then? There's not a lot of houses. Whatever. I don't want to be too greedy with my bullets here because they boy they they just come in a, a huge batch of people. But well, like last time, there's no chainsaw to it. We can easily just funnel funnel them here. Ugh. Ah, the music is still bumping now. <laughs> this is the anxiety song. Oh boy. Well, let's see. Ah, oh, simple. <laughs> Easy peasy. So... We have been doing pretty good actually, so I wonder if we are actually going to die in this playthrough. And well, if I get careless that is. It could be at any given second. That wasn't the last one. But I don't see anyone else. And yeah, let's just go. And we use the insignia key. Alright. 
Ah, this is the music of safety. So regarding the anxiety song, I think it was first a tweet that was like, having anxiety is like hearing the, the enemy music all the time and not, <laughs> not seeing anyone around. And and back there, the normal enemy music, I think the best friends were like, this is the anxiety music. <laughs> Ain't that true. Well, don't worry. In a chapter or two, I think we're going to, to hear the serial song. Don't worry, you'll know when we get to it. <laughs> you'll know what I mean when we get to it. So, pretty fancy place, right? Oh look, a bunch of treasure, and one of the most important too. Dealing a headdress. Nothing. Well, whatever. Let's get out of the cave. What? I think the biggest mystery in Resident Evil 4 is this guy. <laughs> so stranger, any luck with the blue medallions? Remember, shoot 10 or more to get your specialized gun. So we have enough money for this thing, which, believe me, we're going to need the space. Speaking of space, as you can see, a mask with three D-bots, like something might fit inside, so we don't sell this until we get everything, but this one? We can sell it right now. The rest pocket was so we can sell that too. Pro pendant too. The ruby, of course. The spinels always. Now we have 90k. That's up. But that's not a lot of money. So what should we turn up? Hmm. Two fighting speed. The reload. I'm not too worried. The capacity. Um. I guess let's start with this. <laughs> Thank you. Alright, for the shotgun. <laughs> Thank you. I think the reload speed is actually important. Is that all strange? <laughs> Thank you. The rifle. More firepower, not exactly needed, but the reload speed can be ever so difficult. Well let's upgrade the capacity. Every time we do it we get free ammo, so it's always important. I guess let's leave it at that. I know we have 50k but Managing money is one of the most important aspects in this game, especially if you're playing the first time. Look how far I can aim up. <laughs> they just happen to have a grenade there. I got something for the nest. <laughs> what is a fucking grenade? Ooh. I was going to skip the cutscene, but I'm like, yeah, I'll just skip it for the first time. Is the murder of crows and there's a medallion. Well, first thing first. Wait, no, I want to save this for later. You'll see why. No, I am not there. <laughs> it could be anyone shooting. Jesus. By the way, I do believe this 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 specific sound tag has like chainsaw noises oh boy <laughs> isn't isn't amazing knowing two languages <laughs> so you can play Resident Evil 4 yeah just so you can play the best game ever made well I mean every time someone says the best game ever made it's really subjective they're like a billion genres in games RPGs first person shooters third person shooters platformers so saying that one game is the best thing ever made is so difficult so you see this insignias we see the C I don't believe there's an M and a V And we'll get to that in a minute, but first they just keep dealing with more with more not samples. Damn your boy so good, your boy so good <laughs> Don't worry, I'm going to eat shit more sooner than you think. I like that sound. 
I mean, that's that freaking Molotov, I want to say, that freaking dynamite, that can easily be the end of you. And guess what? You don't want that. Alright, there should be more around this area. Well, the rest should be in this area. You can do this also. I, I don't know if it only causes to more people to spawn, but you can do it if you want. Oh, here he comes. Oh boy, he looks in. Oh boy, there's more people. I should shooting with it. Nah. Alright. Hey, Graveyard Fire is like uncharted. As always, you're invisible during the the melee attacks motion, so you can abuse that. Not me, because I'm not that good. I mean, I have seen people like doing <laughs> doing it in command, which is actually really amazing. I I don't promise anything, but we can do a couple of those. Think we can do a couple of those. Anyway, so we want to go behind this church <laughs> so we can get shank. Simple enough, right? There should be like another yeah. Alright. So, the couple of insignias of last time uh, is for here, but I also have a couple of a couple of troubles with this one because um let's see, maybe I can get them. Uh, well, just give me a minute. Then this is it. Yep. And we get the green cat's eye, which, as you expect, we can combine it with the burst eye. Now we only need one more, which will be a uh, yellow, I think. I. I'm not sure where it is, but <laughs> don't worry, we'll find it. Worst case scenario, we can look at the treasure map. Oh. Leon, have you reached the church yet? Uh, <laughs> sort of. Leon, did I mention not to take the scenic route? At any rate, Ashley's probably inside that structure. Rescue her, hurry! Let's just say a reminder of... Don't go where you shouldn't be going, and don't think you're clever of skipping this area because we need the key. Hunnigan, it's Leon. The door's locked. I can't get in. Didn't they teach you how to pick locks at the academy? Yeah. There's some sort of indentation, like something might fit inside. Well, there's no use standing around. Leon, you have to find some way or something to get inside. <laughs> So we got scold, so we could get scold again. <laughs> what about this? It's locked. So now we can go here. Uh, <laughs> simple enough. Don't worry about the people who's just right in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. So we one here, one here. Damn it, Leon, my dude is is clearly showing on the the uh, I don't want down here. That's it. Fifteen. We can get the specialist handgun. Oh shit! It was a snake in a box. Closure of the church. Regarding the two fugitives, the apprehension of Louis is top priority. The American agent, a distant second, what Louis stole from us is far more important than the girl. Girl, I said, right and girl. Unless we get it back, the girl will come useless to us. We must get it to execute our plan to the end. If it gets in the wrong hands, the world will become a totally different place than what the Lord Settler has envisioned. 
at all costs we must we must not let it happen we mustn't I guess it's where you say we must not because mustn't whatever nevertheless we're not letting go of the girl to ensure that the agent does not get to her I have locked the church door where the girl is being held anyone who needs to and anyone who needs access to the church must first get the approval by Lord Settler. There is a key beyond the lake, but it should be safe now that the lago has been awakened by your lord. No one will get across the lake alive. Plus, or saying blood courses through the agent's veins, it will be just a matter of time before he joins us. Once he does, there will be nobody else left that will come looking for the girl. Other than you're not reporting and sending someone else. <laughs> Chris. Hmm. I have issues remembering who developed exactly who directed this game. I think it was Shinji Mikami, who went ahead and, de and developed The Evil Within. Or should I say The Unrails Within? <laughs> oh, oh, silly me. <laughs> I mean, I was playing The Evil Within because I do have it, but. Uh, it's not as fun to play as this one, and I think it's mostly because, like, in this one, you you have like open ways to do things. Like aiming requires you to have certain amount of skills, and in Devil Within, I think everything is just like on rails. It's like, oh, this is the part where you run from the monster. This is the part where you jump this, and it's just the same. Also, we save this for this. <laughs> Look at all that money! And we recover our investment, the flash grenade. The hell is that, you may ask? Don't worry, we'll get to it. It looks like the gates, the gates securely shut. Wait, I can hear something growling on the other side. Yeah, I don't think we want to be here. <laughs> I just remember, I was playing Overwatch the other day, and there was this guy playing a Stormbjorn, and she killed Brigitte, and someone else, which was, I, I guess, a girl, was like, oh my god, you killed your own daughter. And it was like, oh, that's that's kind of funny. But then, then this other bitch, <laughs> was just like, uh, I don't know, you sound like a boy or a girl. They begin catfighting in the middle of the match. Everyone was like, just stop. <laughs> I don't say this is just like mean girls, but in Overwatch, <laughs> we all laugh. I certainly did. <laughs> hey, man, I'm here to take my gun. Well done, stranger. I see you have shot enough number of medallions. Like I promised, go claim your specialized gun in the buy screen. Don't worry about the money. This one's on the house. This this one's on the house. Oh. So this is the Punisher. <laughs> the Frank Castle gun. <laughs> So, I mean, we'll blast a hole through two enemies, so let's compare this, I mean, this one is 1.2 upgraded, this, this one is 1.1, 1 .1. and, I mean, it looks pretty much the same, so I guess I'm just going to sell the handgun, but I think what the handgun has is that uh, it has a better chance for criticals. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, if it's just the bullets, then good luck. I, <laughs> good luck lining two enemies together on every scenario. But if the criticals are like more common to the other gun and are not a special upgrade type of thing, then we might want to keep this one. I mean, at any rate, we can just sell the Punisher. 15k. Uh, are you going to send me my own gun? Whatever. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I'm just missing. Mm -hmm. 
I'm really long thing whenever we try to get used to TMP, but eh. Wait, no, it's a lot of space actually, but I don't have that hundred bullets. Because I'm, if I'm going to buy the TMP, I'm going to buy this stuff. However, as you can see, I don't have a lot of space to work with. Let's keep it simple for now, I guess. And if we need to, if we need to, we'll get to it. Unlike Resident Evil 5, if if push comes to show, we can always uh, go back to areas we have been before and uh, reschedule and organize our strategy. I, I guess that's what that's something I don't like about Resident Evil 5. It's like level after level after level, rather than this one that you get to explore every area, keep it simple. And all that. I mean, it's not a bad thing, but I guess the purpose of Resident Evil is kind of investigate a certain area. Heads up. <laughs> I mean, of course, this was kind of like, well, around the same generation that uh, quick time events kind of just began to appear. But my only problem with quick time events, like right now, is that they don't tell you how much you need to be pressing it. You could be just mashing uh, like a lot, but you probably don't need to, and you end up just getting more tired. <laughs> Idiots. Anyways. As always, there's no there's no infinite amount of, of goons, but but boy there's a lot in this area. He was more near than I expected. <laughs> Time to heal. Oh, what up, dude? Come on. And with that, we save a lot of bullets. Also, there's like more treasure in this area. Oh, okay, you saw snake passing, but well, whatever. <laughs> you do that. There should be like a treasure right over there. Huh, did you saw it? Probably not. <laughs> it's in this nest. Come on, grab the pipe. Haha, <laughs> you know what day delay is? 420. We got the two right here. <laughs> oh yeah. And you know what? Oh yeah, we're dead, dude. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm a moron. I was saying that there's like a lot of enemies in this area. They are not infinite, but boy, there are a lot. So, we might want to funnel them. Whoa! I guess my only problem with this game is that the ammo counter doesn't start glowing red the lower the ammo you have. My dude, stop it! You have too many of those. And he. well, whatever. <laughs> oh. I need to remember that I don't have ammo. Look, there's a lot of people coming after. They see another egg. There's proteins. Oh, but I chose the wrong one. The camera is just going all over the place because I need to shake the freaking mouse. Ah! Huh, don't worry, don't you love my gameplay? <laughs> I'm getting rid really of everyone. Uh, 
that's all of them. The music is still bumping though. So probably just one, this one just walking all the way over here. Well, there's a snake, but the snake doesn't don't count for this. Well, whatever, let's just move. Wait. Let's actually look at the map just to make sure we haven't missed anything so far. No, we have been good. So far, so good. Well, let's just get out of here. The then get water music is still bumping though. Alright, Jesus. Oh, look up the hill. Well, there's another road over there, but you're not supposed to see that just yet. What the fuck? That's the biggest bass I have ever seen. <laughs> Moron, whatever, let's just move. So that's the Lego. Or as the normal uh, like uh, sounds would like the normal phonemes will say the lago. Del lago. The lago. I mean, it just different like phonemes, so that what happens. But what I like this is just like a light light draft, but made with like obviously with models and texture, right? And in in engine. Oh nice! We're going to need some of these. Look at all these wheels. <laughs> 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 That's what I get for trying to be funny. Uh, well, let's save. Oh shit, there's more weed! It's <laughs> still a commentary. Ah. Uh. I mean, I don't want to because. The because why? But if you throw this thing, the lago just appears. Uh, I'm debating whenever I should just keep the. try to keep like. not deaths run. Or just simply just do it. Well, I'm just going to put it on the screen. Yeah. That's what happens. Well, time to move. <clears throat> and that's assuming I don't die in this boss fight. Gloopy the gloop 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 <laughs> gloop gloop motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, no. I think this creature is a lot bigger. Uh, than it normally is. I don't know. <laughs> well, and that's some shit. <laughs> <laughs> Size comparison, all right. Yeah, I, I think it's not as big like in game. Yeah, it's. Oh oh oh! Look look how much damage that did. Then the <laughs> swim, asshole, swim. Yeah, I think he's not as big in in game. By the way, as you probably expect, the more damage you get, the farther you're going to have to swim, which at one point it just becomes impossible. 
<laughs> impurely, impurely, impurely. This is a very simple fight, but. <coughs> Oh boy. I like that that just disappeared. Ooh. By the way, this feels really weird, even with the mouse. In theory, he doesn't take like a lot of, of hits, but... Just trying to hit this thing is, is an issue itself, oh boy. Well, he's really far away, but let's not get cocky. <laughs> Speaking of not getting cocky, let's actually heal a little. Oh, really? Man, it's... It's a bit troublesome to actually aim this thing. It feels a bit imprecise, actually. Like, you cannot move... Uh, I, I don't know how to explain it. Point is, it feels weird. Uh, he should be dumb by now. If I could ever hit him! I like that he disappears so seamlessly. Normally, normally you just kind of see enemies disappear, but this one is pretty good. We're going to need a bigger boat. There we go. Look, he's humongous there. This is so terrifying. <laughs> Time to match it. I don't know how much I need to match it, but I'm just going to match it as fast as I can. By the way, on the Wii version, I think the quick time events makes more sense. On this one, like you have to shake the Wii mode like sideways, <laughs> so you can pretend you're actually shaking the knife. It's so fun. <laughs> I mean, if possible, I would have played the Wii version, but I don't have it. The only time I played was in like high school, and a friend lent it to me. I lent him Metroid Prime 3. He lent me this one, and I finished it. He gave me my copy back, and it was all scratch and unplayable. So I'm not happy. I should have kept the game. <laughs> oh, wouldn't that have been nice? Like, hey, you technically broke my disc, so in exchange, I keep this game instead. Well, would have been nice. <laughs> we would have been playing Resident Evil 4 on the Wii now.